<clears throat> Hello and welcome everyone to this Warcraft replay. Ah, uh, it's been a while since I said those words. Uh, besides the fact that I almost hit in Hearthstone introduction or whatever. Either way, uh, Warcraft 3 Zotac uh, Cup number 312, I believe. Human versus Orc matchup. We're gonna have Inquisitive Hawk spawning in as the light blue human player. And in the top right, and we have his opponent, War Chief Rich. Who I could have sworn he was an orc player. Uh, wait, was that right? No, it wasn't. Um, I forget I say anything. I guess the words war chief just made me think orc for some reason. But either way, we're gonna have DKH's war chief Rich swinging as the uh, green knight of play in the bottom left. Oh, it looks like Hawk is gonna go for that rather annoying play right there, bringing those. Uh, renegade wizard and assassins to try and destroy the Ancient of War, but nicely done uh, by Rich, bringing in over a wisp to, I guess, reset the aggro of those creeps. We're gonna have a Demon Hunter versus Archmage, and yeah, it doesn't look like anything special is going on. We are gonna have Hawk place down that scout farm. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing uh, Rich can really do to, I, I guess, prevent that from happening. I mean, I think it was Hawk that actually reintroduced the scout farms against Night Elf players. Because, I mean, I guess he was the first one I've seen do it in recent times. I mean, I guess, like before four to five months ago, you wouldn't be seeing a human player placing down a scout farm uh, normally, but you know, Hawk chain I guess just made that a thing now. Or at least that's what I think. Either way, Demon Hunter is uh, going to come out. The lightning shield from that Renegade Wizard is going to be utilized nicely, um, taking down the hit points of those uh, bandits. Uh, quite good as well. Archmage not really going to do that. He's only going to go for one rogue. Gotta be careful. Oop, uh, yeah, he needs to be careful not to get that lightning shield to steal a kill, because that would be the creep's kill. Actually, so I think lightning shield is a very unreliable ability if you're going to creep with it. I'm not sure about orc players, um, but obviously the comments can actually say that. Okay, looks like both players will get to level 2. Rich is at level 2 without Demon Hunter, he does have the Mantle of Intelligence. Uh, we also have the Hunter's Hole being placed down, so we will probably be... Uh, will we be seeing Huntresses anytime soon? Dunno. Is Hulk gonna go for that expansion? I think he would, um, since his opponent is a Night Elf player. We usually see human players take expansions against every every matchup besides uh, orc players because of that extreme potential for harassment from that blade mask but even sometimes uh, they tend to go expansion against orc players as well orc might be losing himself to Putman right here demon hunter does not have boots of speed but he does have um, pretty high movement speed anyway oh wow he will actually get that footman huh Wisp, uh, nicely done uh, detonating that wisp. We are going to see tier 2 halfway there as well. Hawk, looks like he's a couple of seconds behind. And is the Sasquatch camp? No, I think the cloaks will be sold. One of the cloaks and Bruce of Speed does his appearance. I'm pretty sure it's self explanatory why he kept the Cloak of Shadows. It is actually the beginning of night time. Uh, there's another Cloak of Shadows, so let's see who will pick that up. Both heroes do have the boots of speed. Um, there we go, that's the Cloak of Shadows in action. Basically, since it's the beginning of night time, why not keep such a useful item like that? And of course, it either forces your opponent to purchase a Dust Appearance or just let it go. Um, either way, Hawk did pick himself the Dust Appearance, so he will probably go after some archers, or at least try to utilize that Dust Appearance. Footman has been ensnared by those trappers, but it looks like the Archmage is going to be the one being focused down. 
we will see another Cloak of Shadows and a reveal from the Goblin Labo uh, Laboratory. There we go with the TP right there. Will the Archmage be forced to use the TP as well? It does not look like it. And nicely done from Hawk. Um, I mean... Good choice going for that Goblin Laboratory reveal. I mean, that was some quick... Uh, I'm not sure if it feels reaction, but just quick decision making. We are going to go and train up some riflemen as well, so blacksmith in the back. No lumber mill out, so we are going to have a couple of riflemen. They are like hands down stronger than archers, um, but you know, they're not as easy to mass up like archers. And of course they are, I believe, three food supply each. Oh, the amount of units to run away. We will we do not have a stat preservation for either of these heroes. Um is that arcane? That's an arcane sanctum being placed down as well. Usually riflemen, if riflemen are chosen, they'll be complemented by priests mainly. Just to keep those guys alive. We are gonna have double ancient of lore. It would be a pretty bad idea to go huge on dryads, but you know, Rich needs some better range units than these archers here. Will we see a level a uh, second hero out? Uh doesn't look oh there we go. Nagasi Witch as well. So it's the Demon Hunter Nagasi Witch versus Archmage Nagasi Witch. Rich is actually playing really really reckless with his Demon Hunter. He Yeah, just you know, he's been running them in front of the human army a lot of times and not really benefiting at all from this but let's see how this will go it looks like it's going to be another Nagasewage exchange even this game is going to happen unless this Nagasewage will be protected by the uh, human units no it will not A Naga uh, another Nagasewage exchange right there however uh, Hawk did get the benefit from actually having his Naga gain experience we're gonna have those dryads out. Not many riflemen for Hawk. We have. Oh, there's those priests. We are still pumping out those riflemen as well. Either way, it looks like this demon hunter is playing reckless once again. Is gonna get that mana burn off on the archmage, but he is, of course, in return taking a lot of damage. Probably will focus his mana burns on these priests now. Um, two mana burns, and they're pretty much useless, or at least they'll just be healing for like every four seconds. I don't know. Now I can see which for uh, Rich actually has a greater mana potion. Let's see how this will turn out. No moon wells available, and there we go with Hawk forced to use a TP scroll. And it looks like one dryad was able to be taken down before the human army re uh, retreat. It actually looked like Hawk wanted to place some towers down as well, but with that, I guess, sudden rush on that archmage. Uh, the TV scroll kind of screwed things up. We actually have some sorceresses out as well. Uh, <coughs> I mean, you don't you don't generally see these uh, see this kind of unit out against the night elf matchup. I guess it's a very good lockdown ability for that demon hunter um, and maybe bears, but you know. Other than that, yep, they're kind of vulnerable, I guess. But the name priests, uh, then again, priests are also vulnerable. No spellbreakers just quite yet. I don't. Oh, there we go. Hawk is actually going to start those spellbreakers as well. He is going to sit on 50 food supply. <coughs> the fact that he doesn't have expansion, I guess he's going to wait it off for that upkeep for now. Uh, rejuvenate. Potion of replenishment actually is going to be used right there. Archmage needs to be careful, doesn't need to um, cancel out that potion just quite yet. Naga Sea Witch, level 2, Archmage, level 3, very close to level 4. Demon Hunter, however, is not the same, and Naga Sea Witch is at level 2 as well. Okay, we still have more bears coming out for Rich. We only have one sorceress, so I guess that's a smart play. She's only initiate level as well, so she will be able to cast slow, and that's pretty much it. 
fault lining coming in from Hawks Nagasi, which and here we go with these wisps. What will they try to do? Maybe go after that uh, water missile. I think a little too many wisps right there. Level four on that Archmage, Inquisitive Hawks Nagasi, which will be healed up, but she is still getting chased down. Um, you can see these Rufflemen actually missing with that evasion right there. One more hit on that Nagasi, which and she's pretty much dead. Why is she turning back? That was I guess a mistake from Hawk right there and he will be facing two heroes as opposed to being backed up by another so it's pretty much 2v1 what I mentals will be just taken out by those bears and these peasants have I guess turned back normal militias are they? that doesn't make sense um, no longer militia they will not be able to place any towers as they won't have any backup for it uh, Demon Hunter will be forced to run away. Thankfully, he has survived. Unfortunately for Hawk, that his Archmage just got Fork Lightning. However, he might actually capitalize on this, maybe take down these two heroes. But yeah, it is highly un highly unlikely. The Archmage might just actually be revived from the tavern right here. There we go. No mana, it's just 50% health. Archmage right there. Rich does have a sentry ward. I believe he has a couple of more charges on that demon hunter. Yeah, he has one. Scout farm has yet to be taken out. Um, but I don't think it's <coughs> I don't think it's a priority for right, Rich right now. But I guess what can Hawk do? So far, we're sitting on a lot of riflemen for Hawk, and will they actually hold up? against that demon hunter particularly. It looks like Hawk's gonna go thinking about the late game. He is going to clear out uh, this expansion. There we go with a boulder toss right there from the rock golem. Still sitting on, low, on no upkeep. Oh, but here comes the demon hunter with a level 2 mana burn. Level 2 mana burn will actually hinder most of these spellcast units as well, which is gonna be a huge problem. Uh, since we have a couple more bears, we are going to have an additional sorceresses for Hawk. Let's see how this turn out. It looks like a couple of Rockmen have been taken down already. Spellbreaker has been killed off. Uh, Archmage sniped by the Naga Sea Witch. Demon Hunter is also facing that kind of problem. GG from Hawk, and that is going to be game. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in game two. Take care.